Hey guys, in this video we are going to be doing two digit times two digit calculation in your head. So basically that is from 0, 01 times 0, 01 if you take this as a two digit or you could say it's from 11 times 11 and it's all the way up to 99 times 91, 9. So you can do that inside your head and all you need to know is how to do up to 9 times 9, oops, 9 times, damn. 9 times 9 uh, times table or you need to know it so you need to do you need to be able to do up to 9 times 9 calculation and you just need to be able to do some basic addition for example like 24 plus 7 or something which equals 31 so with this two knowledge you'll be able to do up to 99 times 99 in your head in your head which is really really cool when I first sh uh, showed it to my parents when they asked me to calculate I don't know like 63 times 42 or something and 10 seconds later I said it without a calculator or pen or paper they were like wow how the hell did you do that okay so enough from rambling and let's get on I'll get a new document back wait and for an example, let's use, uh, I don't know, 86 times 73. That's a good example. If the number's too small, it won't be too easy. Uh, it won't be too uh, fun because it'll be too easy, like 22 times 15 or something. So I'm going to choose a relatively big number, 86 times 73. Now, the first thing you want to do is I'm going to get my cyan out. I want to do this calculations which is 8 times 7 which equals 56 now what you need again is boxes so we have a box here a box here and an add sign and a box here and we have a box here and this is just so that we are not going to be doing adding we're just going to stick this together at the end so we have 86 uh, 8 times 7 which equals 56 and we are going to put this inside here like so and what was my second color i think it was yellow and what we could do now is do this calculation or multiplication which is six times seven which equals 42 and we put 42 inside the second box so all we did here was we we took our first digit we multiplied eight times the tenth digit in our second number which is seven and we got 56 and we put that into our first box and then we got the ones digit inside our first number which is six and we multiply it by seven as well which equals 42 and we put that into our second box now what we are doing now is inside the box it automatically says let's do 56 plus 4 and stick 2 in after which equals uh, 60 and 2 so we have 602 what we want to do now is create a second box so we have one box here we have two box plus one box and then another box so this is if you're doing like 86 times 7 multiplication like in my previous video that's it this is correct 602 and you're done let's even check with our trusted calculator 86 times 7 equals 602 like so however because we are doing uh, 86 times 73 we are going to step the game one step further and have a second box and do another uh, bulk of calculations now with this 602 we are going to stick this into our first three box so we have 602 like so now uh, let's use green as my third one the third multiplication we want to do is six times three three which is 18 so we stick this 18 in here and what we are left with is let's ignore this six and eight for now because all you need to do is stick that together at the end okay so we have zero two plus one which equals and uh, let's write another box zero three 
like so. So we have the 602 and we have 02 from this previous calculation and then what we do is this third multiplication which is 6 times 3 which equals, oh god, my phone is ringing. I hope you can't hear that. If you can, just please ignore it. I'm not going to redo this. Five minutes in, that's two. That's two. Oh god. Okay. I hope you didn't mind my uh, phone ringing over there. Please ignore it. And please don't make me to redo this five minutes in calculation because this is a bit long. Okay. Hopefully. Uh, you're happy for me to continue and we have uh, zero where were we we have the 602 we added that into our first three boxes and we did our third multiplication which is 6 times 3 which equals 18 so we stuck this 1 8 into our two left boxes and we have this 0 2 plus 1 uh, addition which gives us 0 3 and what we're going to do is add our last box over here and what we're going to write in here is our last calculation which is this one 8 times 3 so 8 times 3 equals 24 so we're going to add 24 over here and naturally we're going to do this calculations now if you're uh, confused about where the 6 and 8 went I just didn't write 6 and 8 because we are not going to do anything about it yet all we need to worry about is this 3 times 3 plus 24 which is 27 yeah and then lastly what we're going to do is stick back this 6 and 8 after we've done all the calculations like 8 times uh, 8 times 7 6 times 7 6 times 3 and 8 times 3 if once we've done with that we're going to stick 6 and 8 back in on either side and we are left with 6 to 7 8 and that's the answer let's check Cook, uh, 86 times 73 which equals 6278 okay so we ha we got our correct answer which is 6228 and all it took was technically three or four steps we did four uh, multiplication in three boxes so we did this box and this box and this box to get this answer over here yay it's a tick. Oops, that's a bad tick. Oh well. Okay, so if you're confused and didn't, uh, couldn't really follow along, don't worry. I'll do another example with two sets of different numbers. So let me quickly get a new document. Don't save and black. Hopefully you're comfortable with my uh, use of uh, the blackboard, black background, and the white and the colourful. Uh, colors because I personally find myself easier to learn when we when I have like a chosen set of colors for like the first uh, method second method not method but uh, uh, number one number two number three and I could follow along and look better back at it better than with just one color with numbers like spreading all over the place okay so let me quickly choose another number let's make it big again 90 8 times 70, uh, don't know, 78? That would be, yeah, that kind of works. Did we use 78 before? Maybe we did. Let's change it to 70, I don't know, 4. That would be. Okay, with my cyan, let's you do step 1, which is there. Like so. Actually, before we do the steps, maybe it's just better if I do 1, 2, plus that and this box like so. It's Maybe it's better if I write the boxes first. Okay back to my cyan let's do 9 times 7 which equals 63 and with this 63 we are going to add it to our first box. Now let me get my yellow for my second uh, multiplication which is this 8 times 7 so 8 times 7 equals 56 so I'm going to add this 56 inside our second box now naturally if we look at the box we are told to do a 63 plus 5 addition which gets as uh, gets as 63 plus 5 equals 
uh, 68 and we are going to stick this 6 inside so we have 686 now let's create another box so we have one box over here and we have two box plus one box and uh, another box like so. So it's a similar method, similar box structure to the first one, except that we are going to have another uh, box which is going is which is not going to be involved with the addition. Okay, so we have this six eight six which we are going to add into our first three boxes. So we are not going to play around with our first six, but we are going to do addition with our eighty six. Now, what's my third color? I think it's green. The third calculation is this 8 times 4, 3. So 8 times 4 is 32. And we're going to add 32 into our two left boxes. And naturally, we are left uh, told to do 86 plus 3. And we are not going to uh, touch this 6 and 2. So until the re uh, very end when we stick back the two numbers together. So we could ignore this for now. So let's do 86 plus 3, which is 89. Okay, so we are going to write our last two boxes. And don't forget that either side we are going to have this 6 and 2. Oops, 6 and 2, which we could just ignore. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to write this in. So we have 89 here. And then what was my last color? I think it was my pink or magenta. Magenta. Uh, let's do our last multiplication, which is 9 times 4. 9 times 4 equals 36. So we're going to add this here. I always have no space at the end. Okay. Oh, that's bad. And 9 times 4 equals 36. So let's do our calculation. Let's do... Uh, where is it? Wait. 89 plus 36 is 36. Is that right? Yep, I think it's right. One five and uh, two. So one two five. So we have this uh, six and this one two five and this two. So naturally, we need to add this six to the one. So we are left with seven two five two, which I think is the correct answer. Calculator. Um, 98 times 74 which equals yep 7252 now in this video I used uh, a dip deliberately used an example where the last ca uh, addition calculation over here doesn't get a two digit number but instead gets a three digit number 125 when that happens we are going to have this uh, wait, what can I usually use? Brown. We're going to have this 25 normally inside here and then we are going to add this one into our 6 or the left side uh, digit, uh, in this case 6. So over here what I did was we had 25 and then I did 6 plus 1 which gave us 7. Therefore, our answer is 7252. Sorry that the border ran out of space, so I had to do like calculations going down that way with a bit here, and then I just had to move the last one over here, which might have made it complicated, but uh, uh, we got the right answer. We got 7252. Now, this method requires four multiplications and I don't know, one, two, three additions with a couple of uh, numbers to remember for example we need to remember this 6 over here and then actually this 6 turns into a 6 that's going to get added and we have this 6 and this 2 that we need to remember at the last very end but then when we have this last addition where we have more than a hundred more than 99 as an answer we need to add this one or oh, no we're not going to have two the 200 so we're going to have this add one added to this six to get a seven and then we have this 25 and we stick back the two to get the answer so it's far more complicated than the two digit times one digit calculation which stops at here 
We so 98 times 7 is 686 however 98 times 74 requires another set of calculations and additions or multiplication additions in order to reach our 7252 so i hope this video wasn't too complicated one and was really not really but was uh, relatively useful now when i first got this i basically just generated random random numbers uh, pos uh, high numbers and low numbers just like how i did i just randomly took out 98 and 74 and then i just kept on using a uh, pencil and paper to just keep on writing boxes and doing this calculations and once i got used to this i just got rid of the box and just did like i don't uh 98 times 74 so and just did like so we got 98 times 74 let's do uh, 98 times 9 7 9 times 7 is 63 and 8 times 7 is 56 so we've got 686 and then we are going to have 6 and then 86 and we are going to do 8 times 6 32 so we have 8 9 and 6 2 and we have 9 times 4 which is uh, 36 so 89 plus 36 is 1, 5 and 1, 2, 5. So we are left with uh, 2, 7, 2, 5, was it? No, no. 2, uh, 2, 2, 5, 2. I forgot. Oh, yeah, it's uh, we have this 6 and we add 1, so we are left with 7, 2, 5, 2 like so we have 2 5 and 2 and we are going to add this 6 plus 1 to get 7 and like so it gets messy and it's highly not recommended when you are actually showing this method to someone else however this is a next step in uh, learning or, or in practicing how to do it in your head so we have method we have our first level which is do the squares okay and then we have this second level which is this which is like pen and paper just rough calculation and gradually, gradually, we are going to go to step three where we decided to do it in your head, this calculation. Okay, hopefully, uh, and from here to here, it takes about, I don't know, 30 minutes. It took me about, it took me a couple minutes to get from here to here. Once you do like uh, a couple of uh, examples on using squares, you just get the hang of which to do first. So you do this and then this and then this and then this. So you don't need squares and you're just wasting time. So you just get rid of that and then do rough calculations and remember what, what these uh, each numbers mean just for yourself and then get to this one. And But however, from this to this, so rough calculation to in your head, it takes a couple of good hours of uh, concentrated practice. So, uh, yeah, it's really good to practice. It takes three, six, I don't know, maybe 10 hours. If you do 10 hours, you'll have a good, you're good to go in doing it in your head. As long as you have, you're quite relatively decent in up doing nine times nine calculations and adding, I don't know, like 89 plus 36 in your head. Okay, so hopefully this video was useful. Uh, in my next one, I'm going to go into a new po new topic. I completely forgot what top the the topics I uh, listed in my introduction video, but oh well, I'll just look back at it and hopefully it will be uh or it won't ho not hopefully, but it will be a really fun topic. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.